So Christina came out this morning and we had a flat tire. That's mm -hmm. eh, only a $300 G-rated trailer tire. We'll Probably ran over something with it. But like she said, better to be flat there than out on the road. <laughs> Easy to miss one on the bottom like that. No, oh, this looks like a rock in the stuff right there. Hmm. I don't know. I don't see any gashes or Could anything. Could the seal just break or something maybe? It's possible, but why? Mm. There's something right there. No. So originally I thought to take the spare off, like a lot of other spares, you just turn the big wing nut. But I thought, well that's kind of dangerous because the thing's going to drop on you, it's really heavy. So I went on the Toy Hauler fans page and I never noticed, but there's this shaft that has a hex shape on it that's hooked to something over here. So as you turn this, you'd think there's, they would give you a tool, but I don't ever remember seeing a tool for this. So I just used a pair of vice grips on it, and as I'm turning it, you can see the tire starting to come down. So it's kind of a slow process, but we'll get it. Let's try this. Uh, it's already success. down. Look at that. So, after some cooling with it, figured it out. Then you gotta push this out. Ugh. Now, I don't think I'm put that spare. I'm gonna put that spare in the back of the truck mm -hmm. or that other tire. Then you gotta screw it back up. So we used 19 millimeter metric socket, then you have to have the adapter so you can put in an impact driver or you can use a screwdriver. And that's how you take that down without taking three freaking days. <laughs> there it is folks, the old Trailer King China Bomb. I have an awful lot of weight on for having that tire on there. <laughs> That's a lightweight tire compared to that one. Well, maybe we'll limp to a tire store. Wonder Woman comes through again. She got right down there and put that tire on. <laughs> now she's going to put the nuts right to it. Now my handy woman tightening them up with the cheater bar make sure they don't fall off and I had to find this handy dandy rig you know truckers air chuck check the air pressure so we don't know what happened to this one almost looks like it broke the bead or something yeah that's what I was thinking too but why would it I don't know Hmm. Very strange. Just this has to come up. Now this tire looks soft. So that's got to be dealt with. Uh, 
be kind of frustrating sometimes. So we're limping out of here on the China Bomb. Which is soft. Tire, which needs air. <laughs> so we found the tire shop that's 15 minutes, 11 miles from here. We gotta get back on 81 and then hopefully make it to the tire place, have our tire check. It's quite a grade coming out of here. The old truck is really working. Then you gotta stop. Look at the countryside out here by this KOA. What do they call it? Shenandoah Valley? Broadway? Virginia. I always want to say Pennsylvania. <laughs> it seems like we're in Pennsylvania. Look at that roundhouse up there on the hill. Yeah, I like that stone. So we went to get air in the tire and there was a 7-Eleven. And we filled up with uh, diesel and their air compressor must not have been working so we couldn't get air in our tire. So while we were there just finishing up, this local guy, real friendly guy came over, asked me about buying diesel at the truck pump instead of the car diesel. He thought the, the car pump diesel was cleaner. I explained to him I think it's the same diesel. Uh, anyway, I never had a problem with truck diesel. So then we were able to ask him about a good place to have our tire fix, which is kind of funny. And it happens to us all the time. How somebody will just show up at the last minute. That's exactly who we need to talk to. So we are on our way. You can turn the camera around. But we get to see some absolutely beautiful countryside. Oh, there's somebody told us about French's. Well, that's auto parts. Okay. That lady said something about French's. She said Frenchies, I think she said. So, right in the, it's a pretty fertile valley here in Virginia. It is beautiful. People are very friendly, helpful. And uh, we're on Route 11, which is Front right on the yeah. front's parallel with 81, I guess. Doesn't seem like it, but. No, it seems like we're away from 81 now. Yeah. Let's be over that ridge. So it's funny because our tire problem has forced us to go down through this little town. It was a new market, Virginia. So neat and old. <laughs> Look at these buildings. It's had a real narrow street and now everything is right on the road. Little sidewalk distance in between. Well, Jackson, Roxy's trying market. to figure out what's going on. Exxon right here is the place that they originally told us to go to, the girl in the store. Or, yeah, the girl in the store said we're going to do it. Hot right on I-81. We would never have made it in there. Hey, honey, they have a park named after you, Rebel Park. What's the name of the place? C.C. Rosen's? Sure. I don't see I would name. highly suggest this tire shop, repair shop. Here on 11 in uh, Virginia. So the problem ended up being the cheesy rubber valve stem as opposed to a metal one that we have now. And they put my spare back up in there and everything. So the whole thing maybe took a half hour, if that even. Fixed for less than $30. Rosen and Sun tires, and these guys are were a blessing to us today. They do mufflers, shocks, balance, and the like. Work on the trucks. So let me tell you, they got right to it. Yeah, they did. They got it done, and we were out of there. I don't even know how long we were there. Maybe 45 minutes? Maybe? I said a half an hour, I think. So that's pretty impressive. So we want to give them a shout out for their quick work. There it is, the Pennsylvania uh, line. <laughs> also the Mason Dixon line. I remember right, you start seeing all the businesses here say Mason Dixon this, Mason Dixon that. A lot of kids are like, oh We just pulled God. off and uh, the rest area here in Pennsylvania, I see the other lane is just about stopped. And there's cars backed up as far as the eye can see. It's a busy place. We parked over here on the side so we could walk the dogs. And this turbo barking at other dogs, imagine that. We're gonna go back and check our tires. 
use the bathroom, maybe get something to eat. Beautiful out here. It's 80 something degrees here today. Bikes are still standing. I don't know where they could go. <laughs> Nowhere to go. Yeah, I gotta go use the bathroom in there too. You are with these dogs. Oh, oh, oh. Sneak attack. Sometimes it's uh, advantage being shorter. <laughs> Turby's pretty fast. You didn't get the name Turbo for nothing, did you, Turb? Well, this is what it's like when you're pulled over in a rest area. She <clears throat> brings that slide in. Or out enough to get the refrigerator open and be able to get back there. This one's still in, but you can still get to the couch, sit down, relax. Pretty nice. Got a nice view, a little breeze. Taint bag. the dog that likes apples. These dogs the love the apples. We first ran to this story back in 2005, and we're running it today because we just released a film based on today's show. Not a documentary, we have actors playing. Have you ever been in this area when this road wasn't tore up? <laughs> or need to be tore up? How is a road this rough that they are completely always redoing by Wil Scranton and Wilkes-Barre, PA? Huh? Maybe this is the road that we were told about not to go on. I don't know, but it's rough. So this is Wilkes-Barre here, right? This is Hazleton. Hazleton. Back to Wilkes-Barre here. It's like an aerial view. You're up so high on these ridges. It's a big old coal mining area. Look who's stuck in a traffic jam now. So we saw signs back there that the left lane was closed on I-81 and we got up going up this hill and we've been sitting here for a while now and this is not moving. So this is the very much unfun part of traveling. We've been pretty lucky up to we have, but there's this a, makes a me a little worried like that we're over. still like four miles from where they said the lane was closed and the thing's not moving. We have 34 more miles on this road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could have pulled well, off down in Allentown and not even been on this road. In. Now to add insult to injury, vehicles are breaking down because they've been stuck in this for so long. This guy must be broke down right here. And then a, what was that, a fire, fire truck that just went by? Fire, yeah, Here's the culprit. The whole reason why we're held up for so long today. They closed the left lane and it's the cause of mayhem. Hey. Roxy, what do you think of that? Huh? She don't know. Care. She don't even drive. I don't care. As long as I'm with you guys, I'm good. Right, baby? You know, you thought it took us a long time. Well, no wonder. We're almost to Newfoundland. <laughs> the stretch of 84 is so rough. Every time we've opened up the, oh, the back doors, drawers and uh, cupboards have been opened, stuff all over the floor. As you had start to head north, you uh, 
start getting in an area that gets frost eaves and the roads are really rough. Something to think about. Down south you don't run into roads this rough. Unless you're in Louisiana. Well, I haven't seen any signs yet, but I think we're in New York State. Not New York State yet. No? Uh, did you just cross the river? <laughs> right up here? Our camper hasn't been in New York State for what, 16 months? Yeah. Over 16 months. The Delaware River. New York for you. Very welcoming. Oh, right up here, I think. There's one. I love New York. I don't really. There it is, New York. You don't mind New York. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. <laughs> the land of high taxes, I can tell you that. And great roads. <laughs> Very few rest areas, no garbage pickup. It's wonderful. There's that exit we've been looking for. Just trying to figure that out. Oh, it's a huge spool of like wires. There it is. I just went out of here. There's a little Toyota Winnebago back there. Yeah. There it is. Raining. Might be too late to have anybody be in the office. Since we had a flat tire this morning, we're running a little bit late. This is owned by an adventure based group. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look at the geese. So we're not going to know where to go. There's probably a late check-in box because we know where to go. Just like any other campground. New York City campground. It's got the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> That's what Danny used to say. Liberty. Litterby. Litterby. I love New York. Well, we're here. <laughs> Are you glad to be landed, my dear? Oh my god. That was not a fun day. Not really. What do you think, Rox? I bet you wish you could run. Of course, we get here and it's pouring down rain. But they got to eat. She's got air conditioning on. She's doing dishes. She's already run her vacuum. Dog already jumped on the couch, got that all wet. So. Looks good. <laughs> yep. So I think that's it for today, right folks? Say goodbye to the folks out in YouTube land, Bye, my dear. Hey there, people in YouTube land. We hope that you are enjoying our videos. And if you are, please like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you.